Hey guys, Nicole here and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be demoing and reviewing some of the products from the Fenty collection. I really wanted to get my hands on some of Rihanna's products because one, I heard that the foundation was really, really nice and I wanted to see if it really, you know, puts up to the test of all those reviews it has in Sephora because it does have a lot of reviews. And I also picked up some other um, Fenty products along the way because I wanted to see if they were good as well. So if you guys want to know what I think, just keep on watching. And again, as always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like these kinds of videos. And yeah, I hope everyone's having a great day. All right, before anything, um, my boyfriend and his friend are in the living room and this is the only time I have to film, so I'm sorry if you hear some background noise. I'm sure I, I always say this, but I feel like I, you don't really hear it in the video, but if you do, I apologize. So first of all, I wanted to mention that I filmed the demo about three weeks ago. I had not bought the foundation yet. And that is because I went to Sephora with intentions of buying the full bottle, but the lady at the counter said that, I don't know if this is your shade because this foundation does tend to oxidize a lot. So I want you to test out this foundation shade. And if you like it, come back and buy it. I just don't want you to buy something that does not match your skin. So I tried it out for a little bit. I tried it out until I ran out of the little bottle. And um, also, I, I also wanted to see how like it worked. Because, you know, sometimes you put it on a foundation one day and you don't know if you like it yet. I feel like you need to test out a product multiple times to know exactly how you feel about it, if that makes any sense. Um, but anyway, I found myself reaching for that foundation the most. And that's why I went back and bought it. And yeah, like I'm wearing it today. I don't think it oxidizes uh, very much. If it does, it's a little bit. And so I'm getting off track here. So anyway, I did end up buying the foundation. Here it is. This is the foundation. And I bought it in 190. And I really like this foundation. I reach for it every day. I still have my Mary Jacobs foundation. I still have my L'Oreal True Match foundation. But I reach for the Fendi one because I feel like it stays on my skin without me feeling greasy. I'm wearing it today and I've been wearing it all day. I've been wearing it since 11 a.m. And this is how it looks right now. Um, I film on my iPhone, so I don't know if you could tell. What I did find today is that I used a contour kit to bronze up my face and my face does look kind of muddy, but I wanted to show you guys what uh eight hour shift and running errands this is how it looks like now also don't look at that either um it usually does not look like this when i use a normal bronzer i used my um tarte amazonian clay palette my makeup looked a lot better this morning but i was kind of rushing but i really like the way the foundation sits on the skin i feel like it makes me look very matte and very high coverage. I know a lot of people th say that it's medium coverage, but in my skin, in my opinion, I feel like it's full coverage and I really enjoy it. Um, and the only thing, another like negative, so the positives are I feel like it covers my pores perfectly. I feel like it makes me look matte but not dry. Um, but the negatives of the Fenty Foundation, I feel like I think my skin had to get used to it because the first couple of days that I was using it, I had noticed that when I took it off, my skin was very irritated and very red and I saw new pores coming in and I was like, no, because I did read some reviews of people breaking out due to the foundations and I was so upset because I really wanted the foundation to work and I was like, oh no, like I really like the way it looks in my skin. I really, do I really hope it's not going to make me break out. So... I just gave it the benefit of the doubt and I was like, okay, Nicole, let's try it a little bit more. Maybe your skin has to get used to it. So I did and like now I don't really see a difference when I take off my makeup. Um, I do see a difference when um, if I use another foundation and I take it off and then I use the Fenty foundation, I do notice a little bit of red spots, which kind of sucks, but I think it, that has to do with the ingredients that are in this foundation. So if anyone out there has sensitive skin and is on the fence about buying this foundation, I would really look at the ingredients and see what you think might harm your skin. And if you don't see anything that is um, kind of cautious to you, 
I would just get it. I really like I really like the finish of the of this foundation. At first, I was on the fence about buying it because of the redness, but after wearing it for I've been wearing it for about two weeks now, and every single time I wear it, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my god, my skin after five hours, six hours, my skin still looks nice. So that's why I really enjoy this foundation. Okay, so moving on to the next product I'm gonna review, and that is the matchstick. And I wanted to get the matchstick because um, the matchstick is an eyeshadow, a highlighter, and a lipstick. I don't really tend to use it as a lipstick. I think that other shades are better for that, but I do use it as an eyeshadow, and I also use it as a highlighter. Um, when I'm like rushing to work, I and just put an orange eyeshadow on my crease, like my outer line, and then I put this right in the center, just apply it like this. You'll see what I'm doing when you get to the tutorial. And I put it on my high points of my cheeks, and blend it out with my uh, beauty sponge. I was supposed to say beauty blender, and it's not a beauty blender. And it makes me look really, really glowy, and I love it. I honestly love it. Um, this is a really nifty product, and I love all the colors it comes in, but this is my favorite favorite do you see that it's so pretty and i feel like if i would get a more of iridescent pink um matchstick it would look so pretty too like glow for with from within kind of like what my um illuminati highlighter highlighting stick from nude stick to us but better um it has a really really good formula and i don't think it interrupts the base of the foundation and that's why i really enjoy it and this is in the color tripping by the way tripping tripping i really like this this is one of my favorite products that I purchased that and the product that i'm gonna talk about next to be honest out of the three products that i purchased from the fenty beauty line my least favorite even though i love it is the foundation um the lip gloss and the matchsticks are awesome all right so now moving on to the gloss bomb i don't wear a lot of lip gloss just because i don't find it very comfortable on my lips i always tend to take it off i'm like annoyed with it my hair gets stuck in my um my lips i just think when it's really sticky i just don't find it very suitable and i really like glossy lips but lip gloss is just it just makes me uncomfortable and it also like reminds me of those lip glosses from Victoria's Secret, those are those that were super, super sticky. I don't even think they sell them anymore, but they were super, super sticky and like they were just a mess and like they would get on my hands and I just didn't like it. But anyway, moving on. The gloss balm, I just really liked how all the models looked so fresh and glowy and all the, the ad campaigns for Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty, so I wanted to try it out. I wear this every day. It's in my purse or it's like, I'm a bartender, so like it's in my cup at work and I just, put it on, put it on as, little, as as the day goes, and it's awesome. I really enjoy this lip gloss. I don't think I've ever enjoyed a lip gloss this much, and for a Sephora lip gloss, it's reasonably priced. It's $18, and it's beautiful. So if you are, if you guys are in the market for a new lip gloss, I would suggest the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb from um, Lip Gloss before anything else. All right, so without further ado, if you guys wanna see the demo for this eye look, this isn't fresh, but I'll put a picture um, after this so you guys can see my look. If you guys wanna see that, just keep on watching. Again, thank you so much for watching. Okay, so I wanted to make the demo um, step by step so you guys know my routine before I apply foundation. And I did not buy the Fenty Beauty primer so i'm going to be using my first step which is my moisturizing routine and i'm just picking up my cleaning moisturizer and placing that all over my face and on to my second step i'm using my oc8 mattifying primer or mattifying lotion i use this as a primer and i'm just going to be placing that all over my face right before i apply my foundation all right, so now for foundation, I'm going to be applying the Fenty Beauty foundation. And like I said in the beginning, my shade is 190. And I'm going to be picking up two pumps of the foundation from the back of my hand with this concealer brush. You can use whatever brush you'd like. And I'm just going to be painting that on my face. And after I add the foundation with the brush, I'm going to 
to be taking my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I'm just going to be blending that in onto my face. This is the step that I take with all of my foundations. And just FYI, this foundation, I feel like it looks better as the day goes on. At first, I kind of felt like it gave me too much texture, but as I wore it, I felt like it really stayed and it like looked like my skin. But another negative about this foundation it takes a really really long time to blend not as long as the Marc jacobs foundation but it's not just one two three and go it's like you have to go in and keep going and adding and blending in all right so after i am done blending in my foundation i've already done my eyebrows off camera and i'm going to be picking up my sigma e38 brush and a little bit of raw sienna from my modern renaissance palette and i'm going to be placing that on the outer corners of my eyes in windshield wiper motions for this look i'm just going to be blending in a lot of different oranges i could have made this look a lot easier if i just stuck to one orange which is what i did today in the intro of this video i just did one orange from the huda electric obsessions palette but in this tutorial i did more because I didn't know what look I was going for, and I guess I just wanted to be extra. So when I'm done blending my transition color, I'm going to be picking up the shade Railgar, Railgar from the Mon Renaissance palette, and I'm just going to be adding that on the outer corners of my eyes to deepen up that orange look that I am going for. And then afterwards, I'm going to be picking up my Huda Beauty electric obsessions palette i mean I'm, I'm going to be dipping into the electric orange from the palette and just adding that on top of the other oranges that i have already placed on my lid and then i'm going to be just doing some blending with a clean blending brush just on the upper corners of my eyes just to make it you know ombre like everything else i typically do and then i'm picking up a concealer brush to just clean clean up the edges of my eyes and then I'm be taking the Sigma brush to diffuse the outer corners of my eye. And now I'm going to be picking up this Fenty Beauty Matchstick. And it is in the shade Tripping. And I'm just going to be picking up the stick and just going to kind of color in my crease. Instead of using eyeshadow, I like to use this. It's kind of like a crayon for your eyelids. It's such a pretty color. I love this stuff, to be honest. And now using that same matchstick, I'm going to be placing that where I typically apply my highlighter. And I'm going to just be dotting that. And then afterwards, with my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend it all in. So it looks like it's a glow from within. I love the shade of this matchstick. But I think that if I bought a pink one, it would not will look even prettier with my skin color but i really enjoy this shade too and now i'm going to be taking my um i was going to say urban decay it's not urban decay kat von d locket concealer and i'm just gonna be doing some highlighting on the bot oh my god i hate when i forget words on my under eyes and i'm going to be taking my beauty blender my beauty sponge very very carefully to blend it all out Okay, so now I'm going to be taking the gloss balm and just applying it to my lips. I never thought that I actually would like a lip gloss. And then I'm going to be taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlighting kit. And I'm going to be picking it up with my Urban... Um, oh my god, why do I keep saying Urban Decay? I, have, I don't think I've even used any, any Urban Decay products in this video. I'm picking it up with my Real Techniques sponge and just going to be adding that on top of my cheeks. And now I'm going to be picking up this Sephora blush. And this is in the shade Orange Pop. And just blend in the highlighter with the blush so it kind of, you know, melts into my skin. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys like these kinds of videos, please let me know in the comments down below. And I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Bye.